Welcome to another Topic Tuesday. This is Dr. Mike McCall, Source Health Center. I want to talk to you about your labs. You know when you go to the doctor to do a blood draw and then they look at your labs and a lot of times they go, hey, you're in the, you're in the uh, boundary. You're not too low, you're not too high, you're fine. But many times, um, and I usually see this many times, especially for women in the United States, uh, between the ages of 30 to 60, um, many of them working, uh, many of them raising kids, where there's a level of, I'm a little tired, a little stress, I normally could lose weight, I can't, and all my labs look good, and all my thyroid looks good, and all these things look good. Um, it's because uh, on a lab you look good, <laughs> but you need to look at the numbers a little more closely. So many doctors in the United States are, are basically, they just run these tabs. And if you don't fall within, if you fall with outside these boundaries, then they give you a diagnosis. But many times you may not be uh, in a, a position of your health where you're showing a disease, but you might be heading in that way. And many patients feel that, I just don't get these things overnight. I might be heading in there, can we, you know, change course and a lot of times that can be done just by reading the labs that you already have so lately I've been asking uh, for a lot of the labs of the patients uh, that are mine and uh, it's been really interesting to see what direction they're headed and, and the information that I can give them and also the proper referrals where they can actually have some more tests run uh, in a way to uh, help them more now many times your doctor may not be running those labs because maybe they're training or maybe because of your insurance policy they can't run those labs. However, there is a lot of lab companies right now that will run your labs very cheap without insurance and um, you, you can look into that. So if you're not a patient of mine, what you want to do is Google functional medicine doctors and look and then you also want to look into co-op labs where you can basically maybe even have your own blood work drawn, send it to the lab, and then you can have that information to bring to your doctor. We have to, in some cases, educate our patients to make better health decisions, but also to tell them that you have a lot to say in your health care. It's always good to ask for more. It's always good to ask for a second opinion, so don't give that up. So there's many things that you can find in your labs if you get them to the right people. If you're not happy, talk to your doctor about it. Maybe there's some things that can change. We'll see you next Tuesday.